I say yo, whoa, whoa. welcome to the BW show, you feel me? We talk battle rap, basketball, and wrestling. The topic today is battle rap. More importantly, it's starting to feel like summer madness again. Yeah! Summer madness September 25th in Houston, you feel me? This is big. First URL crowd, first URL, first URL called with the crowd you feel me gangsta everybody else been the small room shit in california now it's really time to be outside you feel me and in houston last time they was in houston was what that was surfing nitty right if i'm not mistaken look you feel me let's get to that you feel me gangsta i'm super excited for this shit even though it's a month away this is summer madness i ain't gonna hold you this can this is not probably the best call of the year but it's the biggest card of the year I ain't gonna do the names on this card is all heavy hitters, bro. All heavy hitters. Now this is not a prediction, you feel me? I'm gonna say my prediction before we even get closer to the event. Just gonna break it down. So headline, main event: Murder Mook versus Reed Dollars. Harlem versus Philly. Legend versus Legend. Now we just seen the the pre-fight to this with Easy and Rex. You feel me? That was like a little teaser to this. Even though Rex and Easy might end up being better than Mook and Reed, this is still the bigger dog, you feel me? Mook is a bigger name than Rex, and Reed's a bigger name than Easy. So these are two big honchos going at it, you feel me? And neither one of them has got their favorite. It's not in it's not in Harlem, and it's not in Philly. Neither one of them got home court advantage. I like that. I ain't going to hold you. I like that. Then we got Sean and Hollow. This is a nice battle. I ain't going to hold you. Last time we seen Hollow was Rum Nitty. I feel like he did good, but I also felt like he gave up. You feel me? I feel like Nitty won it. You feel me? It was a close battle though, but I feel like Nitty got it. I feel like Nitty got it. But Hollow was good. I ain't gonna lie. Hollow was really good. Especially we ain't seen him in a while. That was really good. But he needed to be on this. Gangster. Houston. He's from Queens, Houston. And like Hollow's from like three different places, bro. So he needed to be on this call, gangster. Sean has been smoking shit. Last time we seen Sean was what? Chilla Jones? Was that? Was that the last time we seen Sean? I think it was. No, it was the two on two with Luke Castro. But I, I still count Chilla Jones. That was the last time we seen K Sean. He got to bounce back too, you feel me? And I feel like Sean is one of the niggas that like to be the villain, you feel me? Like, he's okay with the fans being, like, on hollow side. He's going to go in there and valley shit. Gangsta, I hope we get the shine that was with uh, Battle Aver. That's what we missing, bro. Gangsta, if we get that, it's over. But if we don't, we got a different story to talk about. But that's a dope battle I'm looking forward to. Then we got Geechee, Gotti, and Calico. Woo! Nigga, Calico is just on the RBE headline, feel me? Talking about I got stock in the company. Now you on Summer Madness, nigga. You don't got stock and shit, nigga. But I like this too because last time we seen Calico, what happened? It was him and Mook versus T-Top and Calico. One of the, no, yeah, versus T-Top and uh, Twerk, I mean. One of the worst battles of the year. Gangster, that shit was ass, ass, ass. So I feel like it's good for him to come back on the same card that Mook is on. And it's Summer Madness. And it's Geechee Gotti, a nigga who he been wanting. You feel me? Calico been trying to battle Geechee for a minute. Geechee smokes anything, you feel me? And I feel like, bro, after this, Geechee got to get... I don't want to see Geechee versus Rex, because Geechee's going to throw the Rex. But I feel like after this, we got to see Geechee and um, Murder Moot, Gangsta. And then, last but not least, we got Surf and John John. I already made a few blogs about this. I'm going to make a few more when we get closer to it. This is a bet that's been built up for a while. I ain't going to hold you. We got a nigga and Sue Surf that has been... Baby, you feel me? I ain't gonna hold you. He's been baby and coddled and all of that. And we got a nigga in John John who's worked his ass off. Not just for him, but for battle rap, you feel me? With bullpen, with giving little nigga shots. He should not have battled Jack Boy Main when he did. And he did. And he fucked him up. He didn't need to battle him. Beat the shit out of him. You feel me? Um, Him and Reed beat the shit out of Reed. Who else? Prep beat the shit out of him. Chess. I didn't think Chess deserved that John John battle when he did. He beat the shit out of Chess. So John John has given back a lot, you feel me? Then he gave us Loso. Chef Trez came from there. Bad news, you feel me? 
Mad niggas came from the bullpen, so John John is doing a lot of shit for battle rap. Sue Surf only takes from battle rap, if we being honest. He only takes from battle rap, you feel me? Honestly, he gives us moments. He gives us his character, you feel me? He's Him being in the culture gives us something to talk about because he's a star and he moves like a star. But he just takes from battle rap, takes, 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 takes. He doesn't give nothing back to the company, you feel me? Or to the culture, I'm not gonna lie. Sue Surf doesn't give nothing back to battle rap, you feel me? John John is a nigga that does, gangster. He put niggas on and all of that. He bought top tier niggas to bullpen and all of that. You feel me? Like, bullpen is one of them shits. And that's because of John John. So, this is not a prediction. I'm going to make my prediction when we get closer to it. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll be back with more.